Okay, welcome back once again for some more RimWorld. Recorded like 40 of these videos now, but uh, you know I'm breaking them up by uh, by campaign to sort of obfuscate exactly how many videos I'm releasing. I don't know if that helps, but um, yeah. So last time the Hollow Live Raiders just really I don't know I don't know really what the issue was with that whether it was just the savannah or it was the storyteller or it was me I don't know but it was all downhill from that uh really it was all downhill from the start there was never a good uphill but there's always another colony right that's the beauty of it that's the beauty of it. So we're going to go ahead with the medieval start into industrial and uh, get some sort of a Western theme going, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Medieval into Western. That sounds right. I went ahead and turned off a few mods, not many. It's it's a tough list to trim. You know, I like so much. <laughs> But some stuff that was just like minor things that either I never used or didn't really work right, like forced march didn't seem to ever work right. Um, anima gear where you can make gear from anima grass. You know, I don't really need stuff like that. The animal harvesting spot. I don't think that's actually necessary. Um, yeah, kill for me. I never used ones because I never trained up a bunch of animals. Um, yeah, some mods. I actually had two versions of realistic rooms, so that was probably not good. Research whatever, that was causing all those pop-ups with uh, semi-random research. Rim cities, I think we'll stay clear of the actual cities, that was just too weird. Um, I had to turn off SRT's Expanded because it's not compatible with Combat Extended. It is sort of compatible, except you can't drop bombs. And that's sort of the main reason I want it. So for now, I turned it off. Uh, it also didn't seem compatible. There was some sort of incompatibility with Save Our Ship. So I turned that off for now. Because um, I'll never... At least for this game, I'm not going to get to space, so... Uh, yeah, you know, and then I turned off uh, the furniture bullshit. Turned off this, where it's just like decorative plants. Uh, I turned off this one just to trim down on, you know, early research. Then I turned off Yayo's Combat 3, which we were only using for animations because we have Combat Extended, but I decided just to turn it off entirely to maybe solve that recurve bow problem. I don't know. We'll see. But all right, new colony. We're doing the Renegade Lord. After years of serving under the unethical and immoral ways of a rough kingdom, you and five of your loyal subjects decided to defect and start anew. However, this decision didn't go unnoticed. A party in the name of your former kingdom is in pursuit in an attempt to bring you to justice. We start without any supplies and research slower than usual. Perfect. Six people of eight. We get gold, wine, and a bunch of medieval equipment. We are going to go with uh, Diego Industrial, not HP Lovecraft. We'll get to that soon, don't worry. Diego Industrial. Yeah. Increasing curve of challenge and tension. Make sure I have breathing room between hard, difficult events. Most factions, all research will be limited to industrial and pre-industrial eras. Okay. So I think with that in mind, let's uh, let's curb this faction list. Let's get rid of mechanoids. Let's get rid of the shattered empire. Um, normally you would not ever be able to remove those. I don't think we can keep we can keep insects. I suppose. Or do we even want to have insects? Let's have a very sort of just... Like, uh... Realistic... Setup here. Like, nothing weird. So remove the arcane fold as well. 
Uh, let's remove the unions. We still have a bit too many. Remove the nudist tribe because we don't need that. Remove the hivers, of course. Um, that might still that might be okay just with that. It is more than eleven, but shouldn't be that much more. Uh, let's see, three, six, nine, eleven, fourteen. Meh. Fine. I'm pretty sure people play with like 50 factions, you know, like some people I've seen screenshots where it's just like insane. So I, you know, I don't know. All right. So we have, there's definitely a centralized uh, landmass here of boreal forest, temperate forest. This is where everyone is settled. Um, There's the fringes out here with some... Oh, an aspen forest. I didn't even know that existed. Winter's cold or summer's. Okay, how is this different than boreal forest? Can you explain that to me? It seems to be about the same temperature. Um, There's a, more berries. <laughs> uh, growing period's the same length. I don't know. It's just different trees, I guess. Uh, okay. Then there's this kingdom all the way out here. This might be our former kingdom. I I'm not sure if that's designated or not. I assume it is. Token Minoka. Tropical Rainforest. We already did the Tropical Rain. Did we ever do a swamp? I don't think we've ever done a swamp. Usually I like to be near roads, but I guess if we're hiding out... Or if we're hiding out, it's probably not a good idea to be too the, near these two hostile kingdoms. When we could be like... We could be up here in the tundra. Or the boreal forest. I don't know. I don't know if we want to be... Far away from everybody. Or not. The cold bog. I'm tempted to do a swamp, but I guess we haven't done cold stuff in a while, have we? We haven't done like an actual like really cold environment, so maybe the cold bog. It's such a such an appealing place to live, huh? Wetland packed with trees and vines. Much of the marshy land here can't support heavy structures. Moving around is slow due to choking vegetation. Disease is endemic in this dense, wet ecosystem. Sounds lovely, right? Average temperature of 32 degrees in this fucking bog. A lot of mountainous area around it. Difficult to move in. I don't know if that really ever matters to raiders. I mean, raiders just... It's just an event that happens. I don't know if there's any logic behind it. Hard to say. I'm gonna regret it, aren't I? <laughs> Alright, cold bog. <laughs> okay, um... Let's see. Our religion. I feel like we're gonna have enough to worry about without really getting into I don't, don't want to raid I don't want to raid uh domination gang gladiator duels Dominate all others. Hmm. Unite family. How about that? I mean, I know I usually do randomize, but uh, I think we'll have enough to worry about. 
All right, we have six people. One of these is our is our king, I guess. One of these is our king. Uh, let's just do. Let's just do prepare moderately. We'll have um, no addictions. And I don't know if I want to go through each one. What is capable? Oh, capable of. Oh, so. Oh, OK. Yeah. So this means they can't. Uh, they don't have any. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could have six people capable of everything, I guess. It does balance out. I'm not like upset if you get one character that uh, is not capable of violence. Do we specify a spell class? There's so many good ones. Oh, I said I was going to have a chef. Yes, I said I was going to have a chef. So we're going to have a chef. I did say that. That's the Bob Chef. That's good with melee. He leaves trash and dirt everywhere. Well, that's okay. That guy looks like our chef, Freckles. Food poison chance minus 100%. Yes, this is going to be great. The rest, you know, I don't really care too much. Um, everything looks at least, you know, on the bottom, everything looks fairly balanced. I just want to make sure that one character isn't doing everything. So this guy will be on construction, mining and talking. This guy will be hunting plants and doctor. Um, yeah, I mean, not great. Oh, shit. No, freckles. Fuck. I accidentally clicked randomize immediately because I thought it was still on the other person. Shit, we lost freckles. We get somebody else. I don't think it matters too much. It's going to be... They're going to be good at cooking no matter what. Damn it. Chef is pretty rare, I must say. A uh, chef with no addictions. There you go. He's a mass... She's a masochist. All right. Uh, she's loved by animals. She's super smart. She has no passion for cooking, though. And she has a bad back. It's not great. I'm not in love with this one. I wanted freckles, goddammit. Alright, we're not going to spend all day on this, but... There you go. Animal abhorrent. She doesn't like animals. She hates fucking animals, but she's a cat person. Basically, she despises every animal on the planet except for cats. She has no mm, combat abilities. Her cooking skill is not even that good. She's good with plants and crafting, but she has a major artery blockage. Fuck me. Can I not get just a decent character with Chef? I could set it as a passion for cooking. But then I feel like we'll be here all day and I'd be better off using prepare carefully. So I don't know if I really want to do that. But yeah, I mean, if you're really just gunning for one class like this, probably should use prepare carefully. Natural genius chef, double passion for cooking and animals. She was made to cook. She's actually just really fucking good. This is a balanced character. I don't know, but we'll take it. We will fucking take it. All right, good. 
So the character I didn't like was uh, Young's. So we're going to go in here, remove the chef, then go here. And uh, randomize. Magically gifted Manuel Anxious. Anxious is kind of shit. Magical, magically gifted could be good, though. Uh, Skill-wise, though... Uh, it's okay. I don't know why we don't have a passion mark here for intellectual. Mid-A! Undergrounder, overweight, jogger. How? What? An overweight jogger. You just started jogging, I guess. Uh, oh, double passion for intellect. Love it. Love it. And construction. Good, good, good. Uh, that makes this character fairly redundant, I must say. I guess he'll just be our crafter. And then Sky. Incapable of being violent, but double passion art, animals, and construction. Good with plants. Uh, all around pretty good. Who's our medic? Just to double check. Uh, Gen Gendrick? Gendrick is our medic. Okay. Okay, so... I need to designate one of these people as our leader. Uh, hmm. The most useless character. Because <laughs> he'll be pampered. All right. So we'll make this, uh, we'll make this Mang. How about uh, King Mang? King, King Mang, of course. King Mang. Done. King Mang. Perfect. Go. Into the cold bog, King Mang leads his people. Hope in their hearts. Uh, hope, hope in their hearts, but concern <laughs> on their minds. It's gonna like fucking crash again because I'm running way too many mods as always. No, I think we're good. After years, uh, oh yeah, I already read this. Yeah, it's nothing new. So someone is is hunting us. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, yeah, we've got two heater shields. We've got three heavy plate helmets, two plate armor. No. Three plate armor. What is this? Heavy plate armor. Oh, that's heavy plate armor. Damn. Uh, two gladiuses, a long sword, and three tabards, along with 150 gold and 30 wine. <laughs> All right, so who is our primary combatant? Our primary melee combatant? I think it's Gendrick. It's Gendrick either way, really. I don't think anyone compares. King Mang is decent in melee, so he'll get a good weapon. Uh, I think the longsword is better than the gladiuses. Um, 1.5 to 54. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, the longsword's good. So Gendrick, you get the longsword a helmet, the heavy plate armor, and a shield. King Mang will get a gladius, a helmet, and steel plate, and a shield. I don't know who the tabards are really for. Um, we're all wearing some form of clothes, right? Yeah, we all got tunics and pants. It's going to get cold quick, so we're going to have to concern ourselves. It is spring, which helps. But we are definitely going to need to be making some stuff. 
Um, yeah, the third sword is going to IOE. Uh, I'll, uh, you need a new name. <laughs> Your king has decreed. What sort of Isaac IOE, and she's female. Um, let's go with uh, Isla. Okay, <clears throat> you can take a gladius, uh, a helmet, and um, a tabard, and then uh, who's our chef? Oh, Isla is the chef, okay. Then, uh, yeah, I guess... I'll give it to Sky, I guess. There we go. All right. Oh, there's one other tavern. Boss. Boss man can wear it. Okay, that's all that's sorted. Let's look at our map, shall we? It does look like a cold bog. Again, uh, very little defensible positions. I'm thinking um, we got marshy soil all up in here. I don't think we can build on that. Oh, you can? No, can you? Hold on. Okay, you can build on marshy soil. What can't you build on? It won't tell me, will it? It won't tell me until I try to build it? Or this just, this doesn't count as heavy. What is a heavy structure? You'd think it would be a wall. Or a big bed. I don't know, I don't know, maybe... But anyways, I'm I'm looking at this. This is all going to be mined out, so it's inconsequential. Um, soils, there's not really enough to write home about. So we are mainly going to be looking at this marshy soil. Oh, there's 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 little patches. I wish you could just sort of isolate and like, I only want to grow on rich soil. Can you find it for me? But as far as I know, there's no way to do that. So it's mostly marshy soil, which is fertile enough. Uh, right. So this will be mined out. There's farmland nearby. There's fishing right next door. So we'll definitely be fishing for a lot of food because it doesn't, uh, it's okay. So yeah, there's a good amount of wildlife. We have no ranged weapon. We can hunt with melee if we want, but... Yeah, um... Royal Abs here. It's like it was prophesized that the king would come here to settle. Yeah, I remember that. <clears throat> Polar bear, black bear, two mega sloths. Game, they're both female. They could have bred and we could have just hunted them down on the, on the regular. Um, uh, so yeah, I like this position. And I just see the, uh... Okay, the build line's there. So we could build, uh, a palisade right along here, which would contain this river for us if we built all the way up in here. Looks like there's a great amount of trees, which is awesome. Um... Yeah, I mean, no matter where we build, we're going to have to wall in the entire area. There's, there's just no mountains or anything, so... <sighs> Otherwise, I like this spot. Alright, so let's put in a stocking zone. Um, doesn't really matter where. Okay. And... Um, we're going to want to deconstruct this. Deconstruct, I think, all of these, really. Uh, and let's... 
go a little bit bigger here. Oh, I don't have any wood. That is true. I don't have any wood. Okay, never mind. We need to use the the, the stones we have. Um, because if we if we claim all this, we can then reinstall it. Uh, I don't know how big we can get this. Just maybe start with that. It's not ideal. Okay, and uh, continue that. Yeah, we're gonna, I mean, we're gonna have to chop down some trees. There's no question about that. Um, claim this and reinstall it. Oh, you're gonna be reinstalling it there. Okay, uh, that's good. And then I think we mark a uh, bunch of trees to be chopped. Finish up our walls. Good, good, good. We are going to need food immediately. We can set the fishing zone. Uh... There we go. Uh, so yeah, we can do some fishing in there. But we also could just all bum rush uh, a couple boars. Well, for now, get to work on that. All right, let's see. Manual priorities. Yes, I do like them. Jendrick is our doctor. Isla can be backup doctor. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, handling animals. Sure. Sure, sure. Yep. Cook, yes. Hunt. No, don't worry about that. Uh, construction, construction, construction. Uh, I mean, everyone can pitch in. It's it's usually not too tough. Growing plants. Right. Let's sort that out as well. We're just using this marshy zone right here. Let's get that going. We're going to want... Uh, we're going to want rice and cotton pretty much ASAP. And yeah, I'm not messing around. <laughs> We're just going for rice. Uh, cotton is good. I'm gonna be needing some clothes. Uh, I mean, we could do... We could just hunt a bunch of stuff, but cloth is nice and reliable. Beyond that, it's only a matter of... If we have a plant skill of 8, and I don't think we do. So, heal root is a little out of our range just yet, but that's a fine start. King Mang can definitely help with some mining. Uh, yeah, Mang, I guess if anything needs to be made, you're the guy doing it. Oh, God. Okay. That happened quick.
Uh, Schmitty is our researcher of choice. Oh, Isla does have a nine, but she doesn't have the double passion. Yeah, so. No, it's 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 mostly going to be old Schmitty. Isla's our best fisherwoman by far. So let's set that there. No, she really does need to do it pretty urgently. Okay, that's fine. All right, a raid. We have... Okay, I thought these were with them. We've got three. One has a crossbow, one has a hatchet, one has a tribal axe. Otherwise, they're decked out with light plate armor. Uh, one has light plate armor, the other is just carrying joints and a t-shirt. Brilliant. They sent, uh, they sent their finest men. Okay, overall, livable. I have no ranged weapons. So we're gonna try to do this as a sort of ambush. So... Um, why did this get dumped? You were supposed to equip this. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Take it. Inventory full. How do you determine that? Okay, good. Uh, we're still missing some people here. Gen okay, Gendrix there. He's gonna go there. Uh, the other three... You guys are just gonna hide over here. Now. Once Isla cooks this... Or gra <laughs> cooks the- grabs this. She's gonna cook these fucking fools. And we should look at her skills, too. Okay, let me just see. Uh, home cooking presents an ally with a meal that's specially cooked to remind them of home, gives a mood boost, satiates a target. Uh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Okay, that should be just constantly being used, I think. Medicinal cooking cooks a special meal for an ally, boosts their immune system, and cleanses any food poisoning. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Also, pretty good. Hunter roast cooks a hearty meal for an ally, boosts most combat stats for a short time. Pretty good. Fresh roasted coffee. Prevents them from getting tired for a short time. Removes crypto sleep sickness, catatonic breakdown, anesthesia, and drug overdose. Then we have... What does that say? Szechuan spice? Toss an unbelievably spicy pepper out of target, setting them on fire. But granting them increased movement speed and energy regeneration. Knife toss. It's just a nice knife toss. And slow cooker. Shoots a flaming projectile to target, stuns and inflames them. Alright, so we got some range shit. That's good. Okay, good. Let's have them all uh, search and destroy. I mean, they we're, we're decked out with such armor, they honestly, we could sit here all day doing nothing and they wouldn't be able to hurt us. Armor is so important in combat extended. All right, job done. Easy. All right. Now we have a crossbow with 23 crossbow bolts. Take this guy's armor, though. Perfect. Alright, we're gonna need a dumping ground, I guess. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, a mass grave, right? Where is that? Miscellaneous. Mass grave. And our dumping ground can be, uh, uh, over here. 
You want it out of sight, I think. Yeah. Good. Okay, yeah, we need beds. Um, we need beds. This first night, it might just be sleeping spots. I don't know if we're going to get enough wood that quickly. A hunter lacks ranged weapon. Yeah, I know. Field and two-handed weapon. Oh. Longsword is a two-handed weapon. It's not usually in video games. Um... Historically, is a longsword a two-handed weapon? I mean, I mean, it could be. Yep, two-handed use. There you go. I mean, generally, if you just grow up with video games, you think of longsword as just a long, one-handed sword. But no, it was... Uh, generally... Two-handed, apparently. Although there's been different types. I mean, longsword is a fairly generic term. So I guess sometimes it refers to like a bastard sword, which generally in video games is a two-handed weapon. Anyways, all right. And dump that shield off. Phoenix Owlcat. Cool. Durable alternative to fragile baseline cats. Nice. It's capable of saving a, a swarm of powerful mechanites in its bloodstream is capable of saving it from up to nine lethal wounds. It's great. Um, yeah, we definitely need let me check plant cutting. Yeah, everyone can do it. Isla is immediately fishing, that's great. I think a fueled stove... I mean, we should have a fueled stove with how much wood there is here, but... Uh, I don't know if we'll have a fueled stove tonight. I guess we'll see. Uh, we can set up our outdoor stockpile zone here. So this will have... <clears throat> um chunks and uh, this will have raw resources uh, but not plant matter and not wood and maybe not permethium but I don't know about that and we'll see okay good she definitely threw a spell on oh, medicinal cooking you have thrown this at her. What is happening? Okay. <laughs> She's got the fucking cat knocked this coyote down. Hold on, I want to save this cat. Who's near? No one's near that has a weapon. Jendrick. All right, save this awesome cat that I want to tame. Oh, probably doesn't even need to be saved. Oh, shit. It's losing lives, though. I'm coming to rescue you. I got you. We need an animal bed. There you go. Okay. Uh, corpses. Yes. Animal corpses. Yeah. Patch it up. Lost its tail and it only has three lives left. 
but I feel bad for it. Is it the only one here? It's the only one on the map. We gotta save it. That's interesting. It's actually a predator. What's the minimal handling? Uh, one. Okay, we should be able to tame this thing. Someone get on that. All right. Uh, for now, for now, just set up a butcher spot and a crafting spot. And um, uh, get a campfire going. And we need a wall here. Reinstall this here. Uh, put in a wall here. Here, 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 here. Good. Uh, ba -ba 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 We're gonna need to get our, uh, you know, our, uh, bathroom facilities hooked up. So we're gonna need a slate well. Oh, interesting. If you build it on any of this ground, you need a bridge. I guess we'll build it there. Um... Uh, is anyone actually working on... King Mang is cloud watching. That's... That's good. Um... That's good. Can't argue with that. He is the king. He's allowed to do that. Uh, this... Okay, yeah, do forever, blah blah blah. Crafting spots... Uh, we can make crossbow bolts. So this crossbow is actually pretty good. Uh, let's do that... Until I have... Um... Uh, yeah, 50. So then, Jendrick... Uh, the... This guy's name is Jendrick Boss. Oh, they're both bosses. Are they brothers? They are brothers! Excellent. Okay, yeah, so Jendrick, uh... Okay, Jendrick, you probably should be doing something more important than that. Uh, Mang, I'm gonna force you to do something. Yeah, bury some dead. You swung the sword, you can bury the dead. They're repairing the walls really... It, it takes just such a long time. That's why I really don't like claiming stuff, because they'll immediately start fixing it up. But I don't know how to turn that off. Uh, um, I think that's just part of construction. So once it's claimed, you can't... I, I can force them to do stuff, I guess. Um, just so we're just so we're inside tonight with a campfire would be really good. No, can't eat until we get a fire going. I was fishing, but we have some meat. We really don't have much. Oh, no. don't stuff your face, Mang. Everyone's working hard to get this going. Uh... No, let's really... No, let's nix the fucking raw meat eating. God damn it, Jendrick! Focus on what you're doing. God damn it. Uh, I, I just think it's better for them to go hungry temporarily than for them to eat raw meat. Am I crazy? 
Am I a crazy person? Just don't eat any raw food. Okay? No raw food. And I'm gonna set this for all you assholes. No raw food. Okay? Good. Dendrick, stop it. There's no food yet. Worry about that, just harvest cut trees. Uh, no, you can't rest yet. Look, look at all that wood that just came in. Uh, you, you definitely should not be resting. Come on, guys. We're almost there. Oh god, they're falling over. You're at 34% rest! Are you kidding me? Alright, I'm gonna put in sleeping spots then. Okay, I guess, if that's how you want to do it. All right, we have a campfire. We can make simple meals. Simple meal times four. Actually, that's a much better way of doing it, isn't it? Uh, we have six people times three meals, so uh, 18 is our number. It's a lot. It's a lot of food. It's a lot of fucking food. Also, I've been looking around for berries or anything to eat. Kale. Keel root will definitely want to grab that. <laughs> Alright, just, uh... Harvest that. Uh, dervish. No, 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 no. We want... Okay, kale it is, I guess. There's really not much kale. Great! Not a huge, very diet to start out. Alright, boss, you can uh, probably... Yeah, you're gonna be there for decades. So wash up and go to sleep. I uh, got into a sad wander because of recreation deprived. And so I have no control over him. He's going to eat raw meat. That's how it works. Fine. I mean, if you really depend on your horseshoes, you can have your horseshoes. First day done. A little tricky. Uh, we got some rice planted, but not a whole lot. And the problem with crops uh, is that we're in a very cold setting, so we're going to need to do a lot of hunting. That's what Gendrick's going to be doing today. And we never finish this wall. They all rush out to wash. Okay, are you doing medical? Sh maybe you shouldn't be doing that one. Could have done this one. Actually, we should be spending our points to lower the cost of all this shit. Uh, coordination. Yes, 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 yes. Good. Cause that's actually like that's like her best thing is that she can just throw this out all the time. So if we get this, 
you know, down. We got this down to 85. We increase our stamina regen rate. Can work out. Tendrick is sewing. Is that more important than hunting? Maybe. Isla could hunt. Mang could hunt. Mang's crafting. I guess that's good. Okay. Mang, grab the crossbow. And grab uh, the bolts. Okay, good, good, good. Reload. God, that takes a while. This is going to be rough. Uh, you use this with a shield? No. So that means he won't use... Yeah, he won't be able to attack. It's annoying. Yeah, it's not a perfect system. Because you can't... You can't drop the shield. Or you, you can't, uh... You can't just, like, put the shield on your back. Alright, here we go. He's not gonna shoot because he has the shield. So we have to drop it. He doesn't get one. Look at that lob city. Oh my god, man. That was... That was impressively bad. Yeah, reload. There you go. God, it takes forever. You'd be better off with your, your sword, wouldn't you? Hey, come on. Nice, good shot. Solid shot from our king. It's gonna take another shot. No cry at your funeral, boar. Frost was so slow. Oh god, it's so slow. To reload. Look at this. Look at this time. I don't even know where it talks. It never talks about the reload speed. Atrocious. She just has like some condition. Well, he has malnutrition, yeah. Oh, I you uh, fuck. This boar is gonna bleed out before he gets another hit on it. Yep. Cause at this point we'd be better off just going in. Okay, we got it. I have the boar. Praise your king. Tendrick's doing a sad wander. No slaves in colony. Oh, he hates the fucking longsword. It's a detestable weapon. Oh my god, what? What is our religion? So slavery is honorable, that's fine. Drug use prohibited, okay. Uh, diversity of thought, we hate that shit. We don't want anyone with diverse thoughts. We will enslave them instead. Um... Yet. So, all ranged weapons are noble weapons, and all melee weapons are despised. Fuck. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad! Um... Okay, so... 
He's gonna have to dump off his longsword then. Yeah, they're gonna have to dump off these melee weapons and only use them when we need them. And uh, yeah, we're gonna want to develop bows and, and crossbow. That's so shit. That's really bad for a medieval kingdom to despise melee weapons. They would never get anywhere at that rate. Okay. Uh, we're pretty much going to have to go hunt again immediately. So, I'm just going to make Mang our hunter. And, uh, Let's hunt some bed bugs. Oh my god. Oh my god. Paralyzing toxin. Don't tackle a bed bug on their own. Great. Now I think we're sticking with the wild boars. As many as we can. We got a lot of people to feed. Good, good. Okay, good. Drink some water. Yeah, good, good. Nice. They ran into our home. That's an interesting choice for the boar. We already cooked a meal and we already all ate it. Except for Sky, who didn't get any. Fuck me, we're gonna have to go through. <laughs> we have to go through a lot of meat. We're really gonna need this rice to come in. Hmm. Yeah, it's a bit of a rough start, I gotta say. It's, uh... In some ways, it's harder than Naked Brutality. In Naked Brutality, all you really have to care about is one person. And as long as you can keep him fed and happy, you're fine. The, the difficulty of diff uh, Naked Brutality is right, right, right at the start, where you don't have any weapons. So we are a little bit ahead there, but we just have to hunt so much. And the fact that melee weapons are despised it really sucks. But hey, maybe a schism will break out. I'm basically just wounding all these boars, and they'll eventually bleed out. We should keep an eye out for other... ...dead animals that we can grab. Here's a polar bear, just sneak up on it and slit its throat. He's getting, he's getting better though, huh? Look at that! Nice! Good. Okay, yeah, Isla, uh, home cooking. Increases duration of buff and amount of satiation and reduces the cost and cooldown. Yeah, I think that's the most important one for now. So now it's down to 74 stamina. So she can actually use it pretty regularly now. And on herself. Damn, we could just be fed by her. 
And the more she uses it, the more uh, XP she gets. So it, it works out. Um, yeah, I think we're going to have to hunt some things to extinction here. Uh, no, don't do that. Yeah, the medicine issue. That's... It's not great. Yeah, the wine I'm a little... Yeah, a little iffy about. Might prefer to sell that. Uh, oh, we have 387 wood now. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. We could probably get actual beds. It's, uh... And they won't do it tonight, but... Tomorrow we can invest in this. Oh, they'll... S there we go. So for actual bedrooms... Sort of thinking of a design. They're not going to be, uh... No, 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 this would be... So then we would do something like that. So that would be two bedrooms. Uh, whoops. Whoops, whoops. That. And then this would be... Two bedrooms? This'll be Mang's bedroom, right? That's six. Uh, it's... It's an odd design, I'll admit. I might sort of flush this out. I mean, yeah, probably removing this whole wall and making this part of that is probably good. But let me get some doors in. Door, 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 door. It's a bit of a different design. Sandstorm, it's so slow. We should remove this. Here. Um, replace with wood. There we go. King Mang out there late at night. Doing his job. There we go. Okay, so we have some meals. We got some meat. We got a boar. Eh, you know, we're getting there. Uh, we're getting there, I guess. Okay, let's uh, remove all this. Good. And then, beds, bed, bed. Do I go through the, uh, do I go through the effort of making it, giving him the royal bed. He is our king. I think he's got a, he's got to settle. We have the gold, so it's definitely gonna, it's in, it's in the cards. He's just, he needs to experience life as a commoner before he can really. Rule. Alright, we should get a table in here. A round table. Yeah, I hate that, because there is there is a circular table, but it's still just a square. You know, it's just a tiny little thing. So... 
we have to go with uh, this thing, which is the closest to a round table we get. Any sand and yeah, we just gotta go with wood. Okay, um, plenty of trees are still marked, so you know, just keep working on that. These trees must be kind of sturdy. Ochin. Ochin pretty fucking close to me, actually. What are they gonna poach? If you're poaching this owl cat, I will kill you. Polar bear. Well, that um, is your own prerogative, I suppose. Oh shit, but this happens every time. Okay, he actually got the polar bear. He actually got the polar bear. Fuck me. We gotta kill this guy. Uh, Gendrick. Right. No one likes using melee weapons. I have to get a mood debuff unless Mang hits him with a crossbow bolt. Or Isla could throw it. Well, we could set him on fire. Gendrick and Isla are lovers. After telling a story about savory foods. Oh, Gendrick, he knew what to say. Nice. He's good. He's good. Yeah, this gear is pretty much broken, so it doesn't really matter. But thanks for the polar bear. <laughs> thanks for the polar bear, dude. <laughs> Sorry, man. Uh, okay, good. Excellent. So now they probably want a double bed. Uh, rooms are pretty cramped for a double bed. But, alright. I mean, it seems wrong you get one before the king, but... That's how it works. didn't finish construction in time. We used up all that wood real quick. Jesus. And it's getting a little chilly. Actually, it's not too bad, because it's not like permanent winter. We do have seasons here. It's just never going to get that hot. So, oh, yeah, research. Yeah. Who the fuck's our researcher? Midi. Whose other job is really just mining. Yeah, we should get this research bench going. We need steel for it, though. Uh, no matter what, we need steel. So, there's some steel. Steel is not going to be abundant on this map. Do 
Just, uh, just mine a bit for now. <laughs> like it's going to breed or something. I don't know. I just don't want him to be overloaded and avoid other stuff. But, but we do need some steel. Oh, boss man. Yeah. Our faction. Crocodile's hold on the bush. What? Kingdom of Mang is a little... You don't name a kingdom after one king, right? Uh, uh so the the kingdom of mm, mm, mm. the uh, the brimstone kingdom, and our settlement shall be called. Castle Mang. I think that's okay. Got dead rabbits, dead squirrels. I mean, grab all this. It's, it's meat, you know? Not a lot of meat, but it's meat. Okay, okay, okay. What has the Lord gifted us? A rat. Usually friendly rat. I gotta say, that's not too appealing. Sky and boss are lovers. What the fuck? Joked about the morality of poverty. Boss became aroused. What the fuck? Okay. Uh, we're gonna have to expand some rooms here. Hold on. being able to do this. Good, good, good. Alright, we actually have a decent amount of meat thanks to the uh, polar bear, but it does go quick. We got six people here. Oh, there goes the owl cat. Used up its nine lives. Shame. Okay, with that done, I think we can put in another double bed. Well, where did we get all these? Oh, we actually did hunting. Right, because I never ticked that off. Well, it's good. It works. Uh, we don't have a latrine, though. We should have a latrine. Um... Let's build an indoor room, I guess. That's a little big. That's, that's a little big. It doesn't need to be that big. Okay, that. Ba ba ba. Hygiene. Latrine. And... A water tub. Good. And we'll have to build a burn pit. I don't think it needs to be especially far, but... There's that fucking anima tree right there. Anima tree don't like shit being built near it. Do I care? Do I even care? I don't care, do I? Oh, 
Okay, tribal video. Okay, uh, their psychic properties are weakened if artificial structures are placed nearby. It's too, it's too late for that. It is summer. We're surviving. I mean, you, you can't argue with that. I guess I should end the video here. It's a good spot. We are surviving. We made it to summer. Um, yeah, we should be planting far more crops before winter hits and I can't grow any more crops because our options for sustaining crops throughout the winter are pretty slim unless I wanted to grow beets but I don't even know if I can grow beets no eight eight skill um yeah so my options are hydroponics uh or skylights uh and I can't do hydroponics yet skylight I doubt that research is available to me, even if I was a researching man, which I haven't built yet. But we should. We have brewery, that's nice. No one wants to chop wood. We might have already chopped all the wood. Yeah, I mean, we're... Before winter, we'll probably want to chop every fucking tree that's on the map. So... You know. Uh, yeah, so, so winter growing is just out of the question, I think, at least for the time being. So, really, what I'm going to want to do is just, like, make all this <laughs> rice. Um, uh, or corn, actually. If I made all that corn, corn lasts a year without refrigeration. So we would actually be okay. And we probably should do that now because corn takes quite a while to grow. It's like 12 days. And by the end of summer, it might be getting pretty cold here. Uh, so yeah, make all this corn. It's not really rich soil. There is some rich soil in there. Uh, I removed that mod that synced growth, so we'll get some corn before others, but I think that's good. Uh, aside from that, just a matter of, uh, do we ever get any of that steel? No one ever wanted to haul the steel. Hauling is for lame asses. You did say steel was going here, right? Uh, yep. Yep. And did you say steel's not going here? Uh-huh. 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 Uh -huh. Good, good, good. Isla can buff up home cooking even more. Perfect. She'll be... Should we spam in that nonsense? 66 stamina. Could also put 5% stamina recovery rate boost. Oh man, she'll be spamming home cooking. She'll be just sitting there all day spamming it. Pretty good. Uh. We really have no wood. No one ever wants to, to get the wood. 
I mean, I could... I could have, uh... King Mang do it. He could get better at something. But he's never, like, idle. Yeah, I mean, he's never idle, so I can't hate on him too much. Oh, another raid. One person this time. Yeah, the, that starting one was really just meant to test your ass, but it, it wasn't even that bad, so I don't know. Um, Why doesn't Ayla just fucking slow cook him? I know, I extended this video a little bit. Look at that. 14 damage. Stunned. And then you knife toss them. They hemorrhage. And uh, that's pretty much the end of combat. <laughs> Dude, Chef is fucking baller. And then her corpse will burn, so I don't even have to worry. Yeah, it will start a brush fire, though. Oh, the heal root, no. Okay, I thought it was actually going to peter out, but it didn't. This is kind of problematic, because it is, uh... We're losing trees here. There we go. Alright, not too bad. Not too bad at all. We still have not finished all the beds. Because no one wants to chop down trees. I was really just waiting for the research thing to finish so we could uh, just take a look at that real quick. Seems that's not going to happen. Oh, we have a fucking decay drake in here. These things are so annoying. They just leave all this fermenting shit around. Royal ass, ah, so cool. Yeah, I mean, Ayla cooks a lot. That's how she spends most of her time. But we just go through so many meals. Look at that, I mean... A, a deer is like one meal for everybody. Backs are here, though. I want a moose. Want the moose. All right, there we go. I don't know if I actually needed this built to look at research, but there we go. Heel root tree. But you have to have tree sewing. Do we have tree sewing? But you need a minimum skill of 10 to grow it, so it's irrelevant. I mean, it would be great. But, no. Artful display. Damn it, why didn't I remove that? Great bow, I think, is actually pretty good. A great bow will be very nice. All right. Oh, and a cargo pot full of weapons. Uh, oh, a red wooden hammer. Yeah, our defenses and stuff are going to be pretty funky because we hate using melee weapons. Um, my hope is that a schism will eventually form and maybe that'll get overridden, but I, I don't know. That might be something they're pretty passionate about either way, but I don't, you know, they might see the logic and uh, hey, maybe we should use these big swords we have. That we brought with us. Either way, it's a good start. I'm excited uh, of the future of, of Castle Mang. My name is Mang. Game watching has been RimWorld. See you fine folks in the next part.